Yo, what's up everybody? So, I'm out doing some trapping today. A little bit of muskrat trapping. You can see I actually have my ice fishing stuff on. Got my fishing stuff in my vehicle, but did not find some, ace, some safe ice. But what I did find is a gentleman that has some problems with muskrats and beaver, and they're just tearing up his property. It's not a good deal whatsoever. So, got some traps here. Got some colony traps, got a couple 110s. Um, I'm gonna try to set three colony traps and two 110s. That's the plan. Let's see how this works out. But I'm gonna show you this first muskrat run here. You guys, see that? This is what a muskrat trapper wants to see. Isn't that crazy? Got a dual runs here where the muskrats are coming up. And then right there, we're gonna put a 110 conibear. Kind of Just gonna chop this out. Um, he is generous enough to get me some gauntlets to use because I forget mine all the time. It's really bad. So we're just gonna chop a hole in here, put this 110 down and lay it in front of the run. And hopefully that's gonna get us a muskrat. We're actually gonna go out and set a bunch of these traps and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna check them here shortly. So let's get to chopping. All right, gonna move the ice here. Get you guys a nice clear video of this run, which is really cool. Cause that way when we check these traps later, hopefully we can do the same thing. See that, I'm gonna cover, there's the run right there. I'm gonna put this trap in the back side of it here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but we're gonna try. You know what, how about if we do it right? Oh yeah, perfect. Right about there. So this is the 110, we're just gonna put some wire on it, put the stick across the hole. Muskrat will never be able to uh, pull that down the hole. It's gonna slide the trap down here. Literally put it right over that hole and just tip it backwards a little bit. Oh. oh, I gotta pull some slack out of that wire. There we go. All right, I'll let the water clear up a little bit. You guys can maybe see that. There it is, the 110 down there just sitting over that hole. Hopefully, when we come back, we're gonna have a muskrat. All right, we're gonna set another 110 here. I'm gonna cover this up oh look at that you guys see that that is crazy how clear that water is we're gonna stick a 110 in there somehow looks like there might be a chunk of wood over the run here but we're gonna figure it out okay let's see what happens this time Okay, all right. Whew. Colony trap is in. Success, we'll see what happens with that. But you can see we got a heck of a, heck of a run right here. I'm just looking down. I'd like to get a, I'm gonna try to get a, try to get a colony trap in this thing. It's super deep, might have to go with Jack Chu So on this one again, so. This one. They really like to build them right where there's, you know, it seems like the is just the root structure enough, you know. So, yeah. There's no ice here at all. I might go. I might go swimming. If I go down, make sure and grab the GoPro and get video of it. <laughs> Not 
get a collie trap in here. So, I'm going to put a muskrat trap in here. And we're going to put a one cat in here. Hopefully, <laughs> One over the glove. One over the glove. We got that one in there. Arm got a little wet. Ooh. But it comes with the territory. One more trap to set down here. Uh, if you guys are out trapping at all and you happen to be on a lake, one thing you can do is see that? Cut a hole, reach down. Oh. Grab any garbage that you guys might see laying on the bottom of the lake. You can get toss in the sled literally takes seconds okay got another run here we were unsuccessful at getting our colony trap in that last run down there in the point because it was super deep but we're gonna put this one in there she's a little iced up so I'm just gonna put it in the water for a second to thaw out but oh yeah that'll fit that'll fit in there Oh yeah. Yeah. Can't see it, but I think she's in. Last rat trap. Well, hopefully next time you go see me, we're gonna have some muskrats. Was it your guess too? Yep. We still got a trap to check on my junk. Yep, couple of them. All right, you guys. So, got this massively deep run here that we could not set a 110 in. And I wasn't sure if it was even a muskrat run, but we got this colony trap in here down there just centered almost perfectly we set this thing what an hour or so ago or an hour ago look at this oh look at that yeah two giant rats already so look at how easy it is to catch these big whoop look at that so they go in the door closes behind them and they cannot get back out you guys look at that both of these rats are just big too. This one, I can tell, this one is in there first because he's already got a rigor mortis going. This one here is a lot more floppy. So he was in there for not very long, but look at that double on big rats and it hasn't been very long. Yeah. All right, so nothing in that first colony trap. See that, we got some bubbles right here. This is that 110 we set. And my guess is there's a muskrat in here. My guess is there's a muskrat in here. Let's look and see what we can see. Huh? Oh. Here we go, you guys. Gosh, I didn't think there was a muskrat in there. But, got that muskrat. Perfect catch on that guy. Well, uh, 110s are super easy to set. You just grab right here. Got to squeeze and keep that, that 110 spring in the center. Pinch that. Rattle fall right out, just like so. And then we'll reset the trap, like that. Put her back in the run. There we go, one rat for today. I still can't believe we didn't get nothing in that, that colony trap over there. I don't know, if it, 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 when I looked in the water, yesterday it was sitting nice and level. Now this time it was kind of tipped, so I don't know if the rats went over the top of it or something, but anyway, it's reset right now. We'll, we'll reset this one here. Now another tip for you guys, see this rat's all wet here? You take them, rub them in the snow, rub a bunch of snow on them, like that. Shake them a little bit, and that dries the fur off nicely. Second here, 
All right, who? Okay. We got a nice big bubble in here. Oh, so we're gonna go ahead and chop a hole in here. If we look like we got a rat or two in this one, I'll, I'll try and drop the camera now. And... <clears throat> well, there is a muskrat in this one for sure. We're gonna drop the camera down here quick. All right, you guys shot some pretty sweet video of that so you guys can see the run, all that good stuff. Now you could actually see that this rat has moved the trap a little bit to the left. We're gonna, we're just gonna pull it out quick. There's our colony trap. So, so this rat, what happened was this rat swam up in this one corner here and a lot of times they'll, they'll swim up there and then what, what happens, see that? So if this rat is up in this corner and another muskrat comes out, what can't happen? That door can't open. And that happens sometimes, you know, but yeah, there we go. Just gonna dump this muskrat out right here really quick. Super fast stuff. Then we're gonna put this trap back in here. Right. There. All right, there we go. Rat number two for this spot. Get them a little dried out. Actually rat number four for this spot. <laughs> Count yesterday's. There we go, still got a couple traps left to go. Okay, so two muskrats so far. Last trap, it's a colony trap. Oh, there's a lot of bubbles in there. Just uh, chop it out a little bit and take a little look see here. Well, I can see one muskrat in there. We'll uh, drop the camera down again and get a little bird's eye view look of that and the run, and then we'll pull it out. Okay, we're still rolling over here. Only got one rat in this one. Like I said, they, I don't, these colony traps, these particular ones, sometimes they tend to only get one rat in them because the door sometimes likes to stick a little bit, but one is much better than none. All right.
Oh, let's see here. There we go. And this, we actually got this rat coming out of this run, I'm going to assume. There we go. The same thing he got, he got held up on that door. Actually, the door broke on this one. That door broke on this one. It's all right, we got the remedy in my pocket. Oh, there we go. That's a pretty good sized rat. That's a pretty good sized rat for sure. I'll usually ring them out a little bit like so. Just a, a little while under a fan at home too, in your garage or wherever you're first yet, also get some, you know, dried out pretty good. Here we go, that guy's ready. And then, and a lot cheaper. Okay, well, got that trap fixed. Both these doors are working again. Tomorrow, hopefully, we're gonna have uh, another catch in here or two or however many we can get in here. <laughs> Let's see, that's, that's good, that's good. Well, you guys, three rats today, two rats yesterday, five total. We'll definitely be back for another check or two. We'll see you then. Hey, everybody. So, just kind of end this video. Yesterday, we didn't catch any rats. Today, we didn't catch any rats either. But we had a couple one tens out and a few colony traps out. Got a little underwater video for you guys with the old Markham Pursuit HDL, which is pretty cool. I love seeing the underwater video. Look at how clear that stuff is. Love seeing the underwater video, you guys. Yeah. So, just a short, sweet trapping video, rat trapping video. Um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy it. And, uh, yeah, there's more stuff coming. Peace.